I remember the story The Last Leaf by O Henry if anybody has studied during the school days definitely you would remember this also there is so many movie adaptation of it but that has nothing to relate to our illustration I just remember so I thought to share it with you today we are painting a fallen leaf because it's officially autumn season here October 1st and we all have a greatest of October many people celebrate Halloween and like a person like me who loves autumn I just love leaf changing its color and trying to grasp the reality and the rest we are already starting off with painting the desk so I'm adding a background shade of brown then adding a lighter shade and then darker shade and we are going to use the blending brush to slowly blend it across so the entire illustration is done with the help of a first step one is the city city landscape and then some bouquet lights and then we have a desk with a fallen leaf as the shoe topper so now we are slowly blending this brush also these are all in 2x speed so make sure to use your sweet time while you are blending it across so here i am just going to use flow art brush to add depth to the desk by adding a few darker shade of brown and then i am just going to use black shade to completely make it look like a desk of course nothing has to do with reality because i came across this illustration in pin interest and i am like oh my gosh that is what a faith is called it's october 1st and why not we have a fallen leaf and also it is a city landscape and of course all of painting city landscape and because it's very easy to illustrate because we have one show topper so now I'm using flow art brush to do the rest of two step with the help of uh, using uh, flow art brush so if you look on the right side there will be multiple layer this layer is beneath the desk layer and also we are just using a perspective of you sitting at a coffee shop or you sitting with a fallen leaf uh, as up to your imagination and then once we are done we are going to add bouquet light and also flow art brush kind of give us this saving time where you don't have to add the color blend it to look like a more of a bouquet effect but rather it kind of create a bouquet automatically because you're just blurring the entire layer with the help of the brush one of the most versatile brush and also an anterior brush then i'm just going to make it look like a sunrise or sunset for me here it is a sunset and of course i'm just going to use the lighter shade of orange to slowly add in the middle of two building and then few more strikes of the sunset along the street this kind of more scream, uh, scream like a new york theme but at the same time i don't know what the artist who have done behind this uh, got the image reference from but this is absolutely divine for me and also i added a lighter shade of yellow in the middle to make it look like a sunset and also we are going to add the shadow of sunset in our building once we are done adding this, we are going to use our neon brush, flow neon brush by adding some bokeh effect using multiple shade of color. Just make sure to follow the exact same step to get this illustration. If you ever happen to illustrate this, tag me in your Instagram with my account. I'll be happy to share in our weekly newsletter because something which I love doing is looking what people have created and also appreciating each and everyone's effort so that we build our most healthy community across the globe. And now we are adding few more bokeh effect, making it look like a light at a distance. And this is the most easiest step. And then we'll moving on to our show top itself. Not to worry much, take your sweet time because the next few bit of our illustration will be in 8x speed because it took me around 30 minutes to bring this entire illustration to life and also if you're an autumn person let me know what do you mostly enjoy doing in autumn few people just don't like the grumpiness of autumn but i can sometimes feel like that's the reality i should be in everybody has a summer vibe spring vibes and so for me it is an autumn vibe because it I get to spend more time inside and also I get to see a lot of beautiful tree changing its color so now we are adding a new layer for of, of our new leaf layer and then we are using fountain pen to draw the outline and picking a darker shade i'm just going to use a, a free hand here there's nothing a symmetry or any other trick just add a crumble leaf in whichever way or format you want i'm just making it look like a maple tree leaf but it's up to you whatever leaf you want to and once we are done we are just going to fill the layer and add a tweak or the branch of the leaf fill it along 
brown and then we are going to add a lighter shade of the brown shade so that it makes it look like a depth of the leaf and then i'm just going to add the strike with more reddish tone and then we are going to add the leaf pattern using the darker color once we are done we are just going to use our blending brush to slowly blend it across because that's where we are going for and this is going to take a few more bit of time so if you give one of the key tip of blending itself is to use your patience there is nothing else because once you master it you are absolute killer so now that we are slowly blending it across it's going to take us a few more time and then once we are happy with it we are going to add a shadow to the leaf also if you look on the right side i've made a mistake by drawing the leaf layer in the bouquet layer please don't do the same you can definitely use your sweet time to make it a different layer and then if you make any mistake you don't have to worry but just delete the entire layer instead one of the mistakes we do in digital illustration is adding multiple elements in single layer and then screaming at the end when we have to erase the layer or delete the layer so just don't repeat the same mistake and also make sure to add as many layers as you want but here we are slowly blending it across to make it look like as realistic as we can also we can add a tint of yellowish in between to make it look like a more of autumn than leaf i think this is going to be more of a maple leaf here but at the same time the tone of brown and make it resemble the autumn theme also i forgot to talk about that October 1st in Germany so each and every country has their own way of celebrating October what is that one festival your country celebrates let me know in the comment below because I'm more curious of learning of different cultures and understanding how the things or celebration works around the globe and also since I belong to India there is always a Dasera Durga Puja there is always Dasera uh, which is Diwali coming in not every October but definitely it's been part of a celebration here and once we are done doing this we are almost done with painting the inner part of the leaf and then we are going to add a shadow to the leaf in the next few seconds also if you have not yet subscribed to my newsletter please make sure to go ahead subscribe because every saturday is a free newsletter from my inbox to yours where i talk about what i have learned in this week and how we can implement the greatest of all time to march towards the next week to develop ourselves in the most beautiful way and if you have not yet listened to my podcast you should definitely go ahead and listen because i talk about the different of art of life and how we can implement as a creative person and develop ourselves into becoming the best of best and hope you guys have enjoyed this illustration let me know in the comment below which of the bit do you enjoy or do you remember the story of the last leaf or whatever the festival does your country celebrates in october tag me along i'll be happy to give a read about it till the next time have a great life enjoy yourself there is nothing such thing as we don't have time we always have time but we are just a bad time manager and once you have mastered the time management you can actually be in a part of multiple universe in the reality so see you all in tomorrow's illustration till then have a great life enjoy yourself happy october and enjoy the autumn season even if you're not autumn because that's where the nature makes it look like more of a realism of all the hard work it has done in sp spring but at the same time it has to shed its leaf to begin its new journey again for the scream see you all tomorrow till then take care bye bye